The purpose of these videos is to standardize the performance of transthoracic echocardiographic studies and to help the learner optimize and troubleshoot image acquisition. This video will demonstrate how to obtain the parasternal right ventricular inflow and outflow views. The second part of the video will provide tips on how to optimize the two views. Even in the intensive care unit, you should try to position the patient in left lateral decubitus unless there is a contraindication such as spine precautions or when inappropriate in case of severe cardiovascular or respiratory instability. The goal is to shift the heart laterally. Often, positioning a wedge or a pillow underneath the right side is necessary to support this position. Try to practice performing the examination from either side of the patient. In ICU, one side may not be easily accessible due to presence of other pieces of equipment. However, unless you are performing an emergency study, try to position yourself in a comfortable position. To obtain a parasternal right ventricular inflow view from the parasternal long axis view, tilt the transducer tail toward the left shoulder, i.e. direct the ultrasound beam downward and medially. By doing this movement, you will see the tricuspid valve coming into view. You should not see the aortic valve in the parasternal right ventricular inflow view. If you still see the aortic valve, you should keep tilting the footprint looking even more downwards. Unfortunately, tilting the ultrasound beam downwards and anteriorly often results in directing it against your rib. The acoustic window can be optimized by sliding the transducer slightly laterally away from the right ventricle, sliding the transducer to a lower intercostal space or within the same intercostal space. Infrequently, you may have to rotate counterclockwise to get a PSRVI without the LV. To obtain the right ventricular outflow view, you will have to go back to the parasternal long axis view and then continue to tilt the transducer tail downward, i.e. direct the ultrasound beam upward. Sometimes, a slight rotation clockwise of the transducer may help in better identifying the right ventricular outflow tract. In some cases, directing the ultrasound beam upwards will not allow you to visualize the right ventricular outflow tract due to the interposition of the left lung. In those cases, rotating the transducer 30 to 45 degrees clockwise from the parasternal long axis view without changing the beam tilting may allow you to visualize the tract. Sliding the transducer to a higher intercostal space may also facilitate your image acquisition. This concludes our video on how to obtain parasternal right ventricular inflow and outflow views. Remember to only do one transducer manipulation at a time and to do very small transducer movements as they significantly change the scan planes, especially when the structures are deep.